as you can see the pan is now overwhelmed and covered uh, by the lava lava has, has got thicker it does not spread much forward toward the camera toward us but it has spread laterally toward the sides of the valley this is expected this volcano is expected to be active for decades and uh, and it will eventually fill the whole valley probably in the few weeks time the whole valley will be filled up from this side to this side this lower valley and uh, as you can see people are tourists uh, here standing and this is a drop rock or a car no that's car the drop rock it was here you can see here is a white dot I'll bring it to the center you can notice that one is now drop a stone sorry drop a stone of the glacier is going to be covered completely and the lateral extension now extended to this side is, is less shallow and this side which is a steeper is now going to be covered gradually uh, with a lesser speed than the other side sorry my handshake and uh, what I noticed, by the way, I want to put forward this. What I noticed that the volcano actually, between 7 to 12 minutes, have one eruption. And, oh, the map is also updated. Uh, you can see the second barrier, which is broken now, is now uh, updated. You can see uh, the western wall was this side. The eastern wall was this side. Now they have updated the map. Yeah, the volcano has a frequency of uh, 7 to 12 minutes. So if you just wait for 10 minutes, you will have a very good chance to see an uh, eruption. <coughs> the volcano was uh, just this side originally. Of course, there were several vents on the other side, fissures. But gradually it built it up because it's very sticky and gooey. It was like plastering. Uh, plastering or concreting it and then extended. The channel is here, the volcanic channel. And it has extended to here. Now you don't see the very, you know, flooding of the lava because it's blocked unless the camera is in a better position. And, uh, but, volcano is yet active. And we expect that, that it goes on for decades. As you can see here now, uh, the active uh, flows are coming from the eastern side where the eastern wall was, the first wall which was broken, and uh, yeah, it's going to continue, and internet lines are in danger. And as I mentioned, you can see the lava is flooding now, the, oh, it's over spilling the actual walls of the volcano is become more vigorous look at it it doesn't flow into the channels uh, only it, it just over spills over the walls this is connected to the mantle of the earth it's a hottest spot as we uh, we call it and uh, Iceland is sitting on the hottest spot. What you see here, by the way, I just want to mention, what you see here as a valley here is practically the exposed surface of the ocean, mid-Atlantic ridge uh, volcanic uh, fissure that is exposed at the surface into the air. Uh, Iceland is exactly as on the spot, this valley exactly on the spot from the mid-Atlantic ridge. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a kind of rift valley practical. This is extension this side uh, A force applied also this way extending it and uh, The whole Iceland is on this uh, Mid-Atlantic ridge and this valley particularly is on that and the neighboring valleys because they, uh, they're forming the steps and What you see in the map all these valleys you see on the map or the rifted is like practically a red sea opening there as if but it is exposed uh, instead of being at the bottom of the ocean 
is at the surface of the earth um, and that earth is built up a pile up piling up of the lava over millions of years that is a very active uh, uh, volcanic area that uh, um, island of Iceland is exactly on a hot spot which is connected to the deep mantle it has been going on for millions of years and was the was the epicenter or responsible for the splitting of the Atlantic Ocean which uh, separated uh, Britain from Greenland and uh, Newfoundland